bring to mind something that you wish you could do consistently, but you don't enjoy doing it. Now, what if you could intentionally learn to enjoy that activity? Then you would, much, you would do it much more consistently and you're, you would just enjoy the process more. So let me share with you an idea that could help you to shift that energy of, of your relationship to that activity. So uh, I'm going to introduce this idea by talking about muscle memory first. Now muscle memory is this wonderful uh, feature of, of, of the human psyche which by repetition of a physical activity it becomes installed as a habit that we don't even need to think about and we can do other things while we do that thing. So for example, walking is muscle memory. I don't even need to think about what steps I'm taking. It's become so natural, same thing with you, uh, that we can talk and we can chew gum, we could do other things while we're walking. Same thing with, with typing, right? You don't have to think about each keystroke that you type. You, it's become installed as a habit. It's become so natural for you to type that uh, you can think about what you want to type and you can just use your fingers to express your, express your mind and your thoughts, right? So this idea of muscle memory can be applied also to your mindset, to the emotions of your relationship to that task that I, I just suggested to you. Some, some tasks that you wish you could do routinely that would really improve your life, but you don't like doing a task. Okay, so let's bring that task to mind. And the first step is to get really clear on how you would like to relate to that task instead. Instead of dreading it or think it's boring or being, um, or you know, judging yourself when you do that task, what would you rather do as a mindset when you approach that task? So for example, if you were talking about making videos, right, for your, for your business, and whenever you think, oh gosh, if I could only make regular videos like George, uh, my business would grow like his is growing. Uh, but every time I think about making videos, I, I think I have to be some kind of professional self and I get nervous and I tense up and I just don't enjoy it. I think people will criticize me. I hate how I look. All those judgments, by the way, were the same judgments I had of myself when I first started making videos. And then I shifted my mind. I said, no, I would rather look at making videos as being of service to my audience, to my ideal audience. That's the key. My ideal audience, by definition, are the people for whom I can almost do no wrong in their eyes. They don't criticize and judge me. They so appreciate the kind of content that I share in the world. And they're so supportive of me. I mean, that's by definition what an ideal audience is. And you have an ideal audience too, by definition. There are people in the world who would love, absolutely love your personality and your experience uh, and your presence shared with them. Okay, so now, again, step one, get clear on the relationship you do want with that task that you previously didn't want to do. Get clear on that. You might want to write it down. So you might, I might write down, when I think of video, I will think of being in service to my ideal audience. And I will also think of the joy of self-expression and the importance of practice, knowing that as I practice, I will become more and more excellent at doing it and truly um, become you know, my best self in doing that activity. So something like that. So number one, get clear by writing down what you would like to believe about that task instead, how you want to think about it, like the internal scripts, literally the thoughts you would want to have as you think about that task, and even the physiology of how you want to uh, be when you are with that task. So instead of video being, gotta look professional and uh, fearful of judgment, then on video, I would like to be able to be casual and relaxed and enjoy the time that I have with my audience. I would like that, right? So write down the step one. Write down the mindset, the exact thoughts you want to have in relation to, to when, you, when you approach that task. And step two is repetition. Repeating that new relationship with that task three 
times, five times, and ten times, or ten times, or more if you can, in the same session, in the same moment. So, for example, if you want to take um, 30 minutes to change and shift your relationship to a particular task, take 10 to 15 minutes to write down the detailed thoughts you want to have as you think about that task and even the physiology, how you want your face to be, how you want your body to be, whatever it is, uh, be detailed about how you want to relate to that task. And then step two, that's take 10 or 15 minutes to do that and then take another 10 to 15 minutes to literally repeat that action again and again. So for example, again, talking about video, the action that I'm repeating would be literally taking a moment to bring those better thoughts into my head and then looking at my camera and turning it on and then looking at the camera lens as if that were my ideal audience who was so supportive and loving and just can't wait for me to share with them the, the authentic me of who I am. Okay, and then turn off the camera. That took, you know, a minute to imagine that and turning it on the camera and starting to speak a few words and turning it off. That was a minute. I'll practice that. I'll t put down the camera and then before I pick it up, I'll bring those thoughts that I want to have to mind. I'll pick up the camera, I'll turn it on, take a breath and then speak authentically to my ideal audience. Turn off the camera again, a second minute. Do you see how these rep repetitions can take so short? Because I'm asking you to, to, to practice the beginning of that task that you used to dread or not enjoy with a new mindset. Practice that three times, five times, ten times, and you will find yourself having shifted your relationship to that task. So I encourage you to try this, and if you, I would love to hear from you how it does shift things for you. And um, I, I expect that as it does shift it for you, you will start to do that activity with more joy, with more consistency, and you will really then see your life or your business improve.